Today is July 11th. I'm Barbara. And I am Vicky. And this is... Simon Says. It is important that we recognize that we are teaching and studying on Treaty 6 land. Students will hear this land acknowledgement throughout their time at the University of Alberta and in Canada. And it's important that we understand why the land acknowledgement is said. There were 11 numbered land agreements between the Canadian government and the Indigenous peoples living on this land. The Indigenous peoples gave their land to the government in exchange for things. However, many times the government did not meet their obligations of the agreements. Thank you to everyone who joined us last week. For those of you who missed last week's activities at the SEC, check out some of the fun we had. This week, we are going to explore the theme, University Expectations. Check out our online lesson for more information. As students are preparing to go to Maine campus in September, it is important to have realistic expectations of their classes and workload. Check out this video of Sarah explaining a piece of advice for life on Maine campus. You can see the rest of her advice on our online lesson. So one really important thing when you're going into university is that most first year students have to take an English course. Um, so it's really important to be able to have good reading comprehension. So again, be able to analyze your texts and apply that to topics and questions that your professor gives you. Um, a big thing that we do in my courses are ink sheds. So ink sheds are um, a personal reflection on a topic that your professor gives you. And after you've done that personal reflection, you go and you give your feedback on another student's reflection as well. So in that sense, you tell them what they could have done better. You tell them what they did well. And then um, you just help each other out in that sense. Speaking of the expectations, it is also important for students to know what to expect here at the English Language School. Let's hear some advice to be successful at the ELS. So we're going to talk about what, what does it take to be successful and to have a successful student experience at the U of A. I think the most important thing to do is to make sure that you balance your time. So of course it's important to study hard and I think a lot of people can get into a habit of just study. But I think it's really important that you try and maybe join a club on campus or there's lots of nature around Edmonton, so I think trying to explore the different parks and river valleys near Edmonton, I, I really think you need to make sure that you balance the amount of time that you spend studying with the amount of time, or spend some time to grow and to enjoy your life as a person. This week, we have a range of activities for students to enjoy. On Monday, we will have our grandma workshop. On Tuesday, we have listening lab. On Wednesday, during your break, we will have our Kahoot Club! And later Wednesday, we will have reading and writing workshop. Thursday is everyone's favorite Conversation, Conversation Club! <laughs> and on Friday, we are going to look around the International Street Performers Festival at the Chocho Square. What is that festival about, Barbara? Ooh, the International Street Performers Festival is one of Edmonton's famous festivals downtown here. Let's hear Declan tell us more. The festival in Edmonton that I would most recommend is the Edmonton Street Performers Festival. It has a little bit of something for everybody. It has great acts, whether you like acrobatics, magic, or comedy. It's a great way to spend a weekend afternoon. There are food vendors with tons of local tastes you can check out. If you want something fun, like a deep fried Oreo, deep fried candy, they have that. They have lots of sandwich and health options too, and the performances can't be beat. Join us for one or all of these activities this week. Remember, if you need any help using eClass or Google Docs, setting up your blog, or in any particular English skill, 
make an appointment with me, you will find the appointment link on our SEC blog. Are you interested in improving your pronunciation? The English Language School is offering a short course focused on helping students develop their pronunciation. Email elsinfo at ualberta.ca for more information. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas!